Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about low frequency phase. So it's not really phase in the strict sense of the word, but I think when you go through the example, you'll, you'll get a feel for it. Because that's really what I'm trying to do with these videos is take a complicated uh, subject and make it simple through analogy and comparison and all of that stuff. And try to stay away from the hyperbole and the exaggeration and focus on the issues. So axial modes, we've all heard those. That's unwanted low frequency pressure between two walls, not two corners. And this is a good example of how the industry takes the definition and uses the parts of it for to market its corner units. Okay, the problem is not the corner. The problem is the whole wall. It's unwanted energy between two parallel walls. If you just had one wall, you wouldn't have unwanted energy, right? So it takes two to, to confine it and produce an axial mode. Pressure and reflections. It's our two issues. Tangential or four wall, axial or two, oblique or six. We'll talk more about that later. Pressure and reflections, the two main issues, always in acoustics. So the axial require two wall treatment. Let's take a width, a room here with a width. We got a 40 cycle problem between it. If we didn't have this wall, we wouldn't have the problem. That's why a lot of times in your setup, if you have an open rear wall, that's a good thing. So, especially in theaters. Unwanted pressure at 40 hertz. Must treat both surface areas, especially with 40 hertz energy. What is that, almost 30 feet long? It's not gonna have room, right? Must treat both surfaces. If you treat one, you get kind of a phase. Now, what does that sound like? It's a, it's a great term, I guess, but what does it sound like? You're sitting in the listening position. Low frequency energy comes on. That's 40 cycles. Okay, it's, it's going to sound good on the treated wall and sound horrible on the other one. And that's phase because you get too much right and a balance left. You can't have that. See, and the higher the resolution in the room, the more this stands out. In acoustics, you start treating surface areas. The, the surface areas you left untreated, they sound worse. So you have to be careful you don't shoot yourself in the foot. Tangential four wall issues. Those are usually above 100, that's ray energy. Of course, low frequency is wave energy like oceans, rays like sunshine. So. We're going to have to make sure with the tangentials, the four wall issues, now it could be floor to ceiling, sidewall, sidewall. Really, instead of wall, we should say plane, but that'll confuse people. So we'll stick with wall, but it's really surfaces. It can be floor, ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, front to rear. It can be combinations of those. So a tangential is really four planes in a six plane room. That's what you want to look at. Surface area coverage, rate, level of absorption, and every wall surface in the tangential area, as with the axial modal area, has different frequency. So you got to make sure when you're treating tangential modes that you have enough surface area coverage, that you have the right rate and level of absorption, and you look at each wall appropriate because you're dealing with energy that's above 100 hertz. This is vocal range. This is the beginning of voice. It's real easy to hear differences. Anybody, any human being can hear it. I mean, it's how we've evolved, so to speak, it, with our hearing system. It's very easy to detect subtle changes in strength or amplitude or larger changes or even larger changes, see? Three levels. So, gotta be really careful here. You, especially with phase here, because you got four walls causing the problem, you treat two, the other two walls left untreated, those frequency and amplitude issues will become more pronounced. When we treat churches, there's usually not a budget, enough budget to treat the four walls, which is really the, the ideal solution. So they do two. It's not 30 days later that I get a call. Well, we need to treat the other two. And I said, well, yes, remember we had this discussion in the beginning. Yes, we remember. 
And I said, you didn't have budget to do all four walls. Well, we do now. Funny how that happens. And that's the power of treating, you know, part of this, part of the problem. The other part doesn't go away. In fact, it gets psychoacoustically bigger. So you have to be careful there. Staging. Oh, the obliques. Let's talk about those. That's six planes. We, we really treat those in the room boundary surfaces. The, the ceiling to sidewall, this area here, uh, these areas here for oblique. That's what we look at for those. But we focus on axial and tangential first, and then we go from there. Staging. You don't have budget to treat the, the walls. No problem. The whole thing. So just take your usage. Let's do two channel. Everybody can simplify that. This is the area here that's real axial dependent. And of course, if it's two walls, it's these two that you want to work at. Stage one, stage two, stage three, floor to ceiling. So those are your areas, and we can help you prioritize that. Fill out that room form on our homepage. I think it's room analysis, top left. Fill it out, schedule a call, be serious. Our call schedules, people schedule calls in our calendar up to three weeks in advance for 15 minutes. So please, out of respect for those that are in the schedule, my time and your time, you know, be prepared with your questions and, and we'll help you, you know, guide down the path. If you need more time than 15 minutes, send us an email. I take calls on Saturday morning, mainly for design issues, people that are building rooms and rooms that we're designing. But I'm more than happy on a Saturday morning to take your call if you need more than the 15 minutes. But we have to keep it at that for now. Low frequency phase. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.